guys. Where's the tip, Ralph here? Now, part two on the um, cue ball slash bank shot. Right. This has been soaking for a day now. Just over a day. Try and get rid of the um, battery acid. All right. Now, somebody said if you put it in malt vinegar, it will make things go brown. And to be honest, it is. But... Oh, it's perfect. Vinegar works, it's obviously an acid, but you need not to spill it all over. Oh. Okay, now everything's going to smell like vinegar. Great goody whoopee. Right, so, give these a good, very clean. These contacts on there, I mean, that's pretty much spot on for what I want. a little bit on there so I'm going to scrape that off with a scalpel I'll wash off right, I just need to get rid of this because it's yeah, stinky and sweaty and it's not very good vinegar anymore so, back in one second right pot disposed of everything else smells like vinegar so the bins getting emptied in a minute Right, a little bit of a pat dry on this. I don't really want the uh, games console smelling like vinegar for the rest of its life. So let's get some, some old alcohol in it. Clean this with Took a brush. That one's pretty much like really good. I'm happy with that one, 100%. That one not entirely. But what I'll do, as you can see there, it's not... I'm going to say it's not touched it, but that's come straight off. I don't even think that was corrosion. A little bit there. I wonder if I could leave this a lot longer. But, no point really. That's fine. Perfect. What should we say? Adequate. Yeah, it's fine. The third one doesn't look as good. For some reason. So, I don't know why. Maybe it's just the, uh, the malt in the vinegar or whatever it is the malting process is. I don't know. Why is that like that there? Like pink almost. Maybe it's the rust that I, um, with me soldering it, it might have just discoloured the entire plating. And it's not really gone too well, this one. Oh, excuse me. I'll scrape it back down to the copper. Yeah, I've malted the, um... Malt of the metal. Let's have a try on brake cleaner. And sometimes brake cleaner isn't very good for plastics. Metal should be fine for. Yeah, I'm not too bothered about that. That's fine as it is, I think. Right, let's get these back in. Shall we? Tidy work surface. 
Right, as you remember from before, we um, glued everything in place. Now hopefully that's not doing anything bad to this and they should all come out in one go. And I've got to solder something back together. I've got a funny feeling. Huh, hopefully everything's fine. That's in place, everything's in place. Good. So, they will be soldering. As you remember, these went in that way. Onto there, just to push in place, just clicked in place nicely. Another one on here. Hold on. These are exactly the same, aren't they? No. Ah, oh, don't matter. Plus, yeah, that's fine for that. And in she goes. <sighs> nope. A bit bent out of shape that one. Should have noticed that before I put it back on. But that's. Seen all right. And last one. So I'd say that may be the um, erosion started to take off parts of this, unless this polishes out now. Yeah. Let's just go down to copper, aren't it? It's just got rid of a lot of the um, top layer. Yeah. Not the end of the world for me. That's fine. If I put this in the right way round. That would be the end of the world. Okay. Uh -uh. Okay. Alright, so that bit round. And she goes. Ah. Why does that not stop where it is? Okay, so there. Right, done. Right, solder nine on. Power supply out of the way a second. So I need to re-solder that one. While I'm just waiting for that to warm up. Right, that went there to there, so that should actually might have to go that way around. I'm using a brush for that. It really came out quite well, this. I mean, to say, when I, when I looked at buying this on, on eBay, that the guy was absolutely convinced that this would not work. All six buttons click. Switch seems good. Right, solder on. Simple reconnection just makes it easier to um, get on with the actual job at hand. Just taking the battery connections off. Might have been easier just soldering these straight to the connections before I've pushed them in place, but yeah, let's make this easier. Make it difficult for myself, why don't you? So, smoldering away, it's a bit low. I love about all these old games is that they're just they're still really playable now. But most people never know what they are. Uh, on back office show last night, night before, maybe. He'd never heard of it. And I suppose you might not have heard it heard of heard of a cue ball. I think my parents were a little bit mad on snooker, so so my brother was as well. So he got this for Christmas. Like I said, this wasn't his actual one. This was a guy on eBay's. Bubble in there. I wonder if. He 
heat it, try and get it off now. That's fine as it is. Right, solder and iron off. And right, let's get the cables over there. Got to go out of the way. Let's double check. And then there's where the speaker. We have anything else? It doesn't click in place properly. There's a slight click, but it mainly screws in place. So one thing I always check as well on these is where the cable goes. Make sure you can't see any red or black in the holes, otherwise you're just about to sever your own cables. Right, I'm doing this. Please like and subscribe. I've um, figured out how to put names at the beginning of videos. So I've, I've added my um, Patreons at the beginning of the video. If you want to actually be on the list at the beginning, please be a Patreon, help the channel, so I can do more videos like this. Hopefully do them a little better. And we're done. Except for the old cue ball sticker. Which we figured out yesterday. It still says bank shit under here, which is the original name for this. But I um need some glue. Um yeah, there we go. There's a pot with some glue in it. I um I am British. And this was released as cue ball, so I'm gonna ruin this completely by putting the original sticker back on. I'm gluing the original sticker back on. So a bit of super glue. Not too, too much. Maybe it'll stick to that again. Maybe in the future, somebody will want to take this back to its original American pool, pool name of bank shot. I don't. It does fit rather spookily, bang over where it should be. Because there's a lip either side that's just a bit bigger than what the original, the original um, name had been put on. Yeah, spot on that. Right. Job done, I think. All we need now is to test it with a 9 volt power supply because everything in the 80s run off <coughs> 9 volts opposite to what they have nowadays power. So, negative outside, or positive outside, negative inner. So, let's go. Perfect. Right, so you've got select, it's game 1, 2, 3, 4, and that will be queue up or shoot. Oh. Okay, that help. Right. Now, I remember there were a lot of ghosting on this. Or shadowing, shall we say. So, what you do is basically use this for aiming, so it'll only do 45 degrees for the aim. Lighter ball is obviously the um, the cue ball, the rest are just the billiard balls. Press your aim button round. So you can see. To shoot, press once to queue up, and then the longer you hold the button, the more power you're doing for the shot. And that's just potted the white. Ball goes up there. I think that shows you how many I've potted. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. Ball up. And I can move the ball across the top side, more up and down. Now, the thing with this one is it is impossible to have, to do a shot like this. I'm sure I can do it. You hit it to the side and it goes in. Oh, there's one I used to do. So you can press that under the angle so it's a little bit to the left, a little bit to the right. But I'm going to go break these up. See, that one's there. It's an impossible shot. I cannot do You cannot do a shot like that, it's impossible And that is going straight for the middle bag 
You can't play a game like that. It's ridiculous. And keeps going. But it's fun to figure out the dynamics of exactly how, where, and what this goes. If this plays like. Because it's not real. No electronic games are real. Even playing snooker on a on a PC or a, a Mega Drive or anything like that. It was always the queue was the view was behind the queue, and you can't get in the middle of the table to do with your oddball shots. And we have a snooker table at work, and it's it's difficult to play, not impossible, but it's good fun to to try to see if you can play it right. Normally, I can't. So. <clears throat> Cue ball. Restored, working, back to perfect. And I'm very, very happy with that. That's going to go in me um, on my shelf. The rest of the stuff. And original instructions inside. Cue ball in the middle. Doesn't go anywhere. Cue ball done. I'll actually, yeah. Let's give you a little bit of a show over there. I'll just stop the video then for no reason. Right, let's, let's put this on the shelf, the rest of the collection. Right, you noticed over here, this is the opposite side of the garage. Got a cue ball. And the 10th Merlin there, in the middle, got split second, which is a copy, same makers of the Merlin. My original Merlin in the box there, and the Master Merlin, the blue one. So, got a little, little collection of very, um, yeah, kind of obsolete, but very good electronic games from the 80s. We've got the um, 76, oh, 3600 Grandstand in as mint condition as what I'll ever, ever see, especially nowadays with them being 40 odd years old. Both Xboxes, one of them I need to get out. I'm not sure which one to do, because one of them I want as an arcade emulator and one of them I want as like a museum for all the games, but I need to get a two terabyte hard drive up for this month. Um, as the one of the Canon type stars, I've not really done anything with that. That needs it, does work, it just needs a bit of cleaning up. The word processor I got that's absolutely brilliant in the pouch. A um, Xbox 360, so not a massive collection, but enough for me. I mean, I've got up there my Ambra, all boxed, it does work. It just needs a little bit of um. Well, I don't really need much. It's all right as it is, but at least it's boxed though. But we've got. I've got these puppies down here. Right on there. These are actually all on eBay because I can't get them working, and I'm sorry, I can't get the admin three th three thousand to work. But they're going. I'm gonna let somebody else have them. See what they can do. So they're on eBay at the moment. So let's hope that they go to somebody who knows what they're bloody doing. So anyway, thanks for watching. That's that, another project finished and done with. Please like, subscribe, follow me on all, most of the social medias. Links are in the description below if you're on Patreon and be on the list at the beginning. And please do, just doing stuff while I'm faffing. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye, thanks for watching.